Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am here for my weekly check-in for week one of April. And it's actually um, the first two weeks in April. So I'm checking in for Thursday the 1st all the way up until Sunday the 11th. So my week runs from a Monday to Sunday, but there were only four days in the first week. So I didn't really want to check in just for those four so I added them into the second week, essentially. Just gonna grab my check-in pages. Okay. Okay, so, got my weekly check-in sheet. It's the first check-in of this month. Essentially, I like to just do four check-ins in a month, because then it all fits on one page. <laughs> so, I've got my little key. I have actually changed some of the stickers around. Groceries is now this pink colour and I have started putting sinking funds back on here even though I'm not actually going to track them. But it's more just so that I can see what's happening with them. So we've had one, two, three no spend days in these 11 days and these two days were only sinking fund spends that I knew were coming so that's not too bad actually. Okay so my stickers have the place, the amount, and then a little check box. If it's ticked, that means it's come off my bank account. And if it's got a cross through the tick, that's when it's checked in for. So, let's do this. So we are starting off with fun money, which is my fun money. And I spent six pounds at Sugar and Sloth. That was my subscription. It's normally gonna be 16 pounds, but um, the date I pay it changed, so I got refunded, I think it was. Yeah, I got it refunded and then I got it sent again. Slightly confusing, but yeah, six pounds. <laughs> and then I also bought dye for my hair off Amazon, which normally I'd take out of beauty, but I didn't have enough to do that and get my hair done. So to get out my fun, so I've spent £32.98 so far out of a budget of 100 so I've got £67.02 left. And let me just see, yep, £67.02 and, and that is actually all I've spent. I haven't spent anything else anywhere else. Um, I've made business purchases but they don't relate to this and they're not planner stuff like I've bought, let me think, I bought... Um, sticker paper and yeah clear sticker paper things like that but nothing like they're all operating expenses I haven't made any fun purchases I'm quite proud of myself <laughs> so that's my fun so the kids have spent 44.99 and 79 pence that was Isaac spending his pocket money on Lego and Ben got an app for his iPad. So they had a rollover of £88.69. We only gave them £80 of budget this month. So they had £168.69 to start with. Just added the 80 and the 88.69. And so they spent, trying to get all of it in camera while still being close enough that you can see. So they spent £45.78. So they do still have £122.91, which again I'll check, oh that's not them, £122.91, <laughs> yep, that's perfect. So I'll mark both those off, that'll be fine to be honest. Eating out, we have spent £50 so far, and our eating out budget was 100 so we have got exactly £50 left. That was two trips to the Chinese which are £25 each and we're going to have another two. We might have another one. Now, I was budgeting £20 a week for Chinese but we've been getting slightly different things so it's been £25. 
It's actually something like £22.50 or something random like that, £23.80, I can't remember. It's something random. Um, but because I don't use change, so I take, I swap purses again by the way, <laughs> I take the money out of the eating out envelope in notes and I don't keep the change in it. I just shove the change in here. So like I've got loads of coins at the moment, so next week when I do when we go to the Chinese, I might be able to just take a £20 note out and use all the change that's in my purse. But, so I had sort of budgeted £20 per week, which was five weeks. But if we spend £25 a week, then I'm a week over. It's only four weeks if I spend £25 a week. So I might need to either rethink that budget or rethink how I do it or what we order or figure something else out. So I know that we're having Chinese on Thursday and I think we've meal planned it for the Friday as well. It might not be meal planned actually until the Saturday the 1st which would cancel that issue out. So we'll have to wait and see but should be okay and I can always take it from elsewhere. Petrol, I did actually get petrol. So I spent £60.32. and pence. It hasn't come off my account yet so it doesn't have a tick. So I'll just put a cross. Um, and my budget for petrol this month was £80. I kind of wish I had noticed that I'd gone... <laughs> like if I'd have known it was going to be £32, I would have just stopped at £60. I might try that next month, just so that I had a nice round number. But anyway, I've got 1968 left. I don't think I'm going to need petrol again. So we're on... Um, today's the 12th. And I literally filled up on Saturday. I'm not going to need to fill up again because there's not much going on. Kids go back to school that week. But other than that, not a huge amount. So I don't see me having to fill up again. So I do think we could get away with our petrol budget being £60 a month. But I don't want to do that just in case. I would prefer even the 80 and then rolling that over. Kids activities. We've had two spends. We've had £10. So Isaac has had play scheme twice and he's got, oh, I've done that wrong because I was just looking at the rollover. So we had a rollover of £119 and then a budget this month of just 20 because there wasn't a lot going on. So that gave 139, so we have 129 pounds. Um, Isaac has play scheme again on Friday and this Saturday, so that'll be another 10. Um, I think ballet might be starting on the 26th, we don't know. And nursery goes back, so she'll have nursery fees. So we're gonna spend at least another 25, maybe 30, and then there will be more for ballet. So I'm just leaving it until we figured out ballet. Because I don't know what's gonna happen with that when she starts school either. There is a class, but I just don't know the times and if it'll fit in and things, so we'll have to wait and see. So groceries, we've had quite a few grocery spends actually. So we did a really big delivery shop from Tesco and I bought mice, which is for the snake. But then I also went to Asda and did a stock up of the things that we only buy in Asda. So I mean, that was a big, and I got cleaning stuff from Home Bargains. So in the first two days, we spent £446, which is ridiculous. Um, and then we spent £150 on the 10th at Tesco's. So, I mean, we have actually spent quite a lot in the first 11 days. And this is what seems to happen with us. We spend almost, well, half of our budget, more than half our budget in the first week because we do a stock up. So... What I did this month, I meal planned, I'm going to show you, oh sorry, I'm tidying my desk. In my B6 rings, I meal planned the whole month. Then I went to Tesco and I got, well we actually got a delivery, did we get a delivery that day? Yes, we got a Tesco delivery, which was all the things that we could get, so that we're frozen and all that stuff, to do pretty much the month. And then Asda was, there's certain crisps and things that my children eat that you can only get at Asda. So that was things like that. 
and Home Bargains was cleaning stuff, which we actually did need. Ironic, given the amount of cleaning stuff I bought last month. Um, so then this week was going to be a smaller shop, but it turned out that while I'd been buying, while I'd bought all the stuff for the month, I'd actually forgotten loads of stuff. I wasn't. I think I need to work better at figuring out my grocery shop. So somebody asked about the amount we spend on groceries if we have dietary requirements and things, and that's why it's so expensive. So there, we are a household of five. We have two adults and three children. We also have four dogs, four cats, two snakes, a daegu, a rat, chickens, goats, and a sheep. Whew. And our grocery budget includes groceries, cleaning supplies, toiletries, and all the pet food. So, we're quite lucky in a way. Our cats and dogs actually prefer Tesco's own brand dog food. <laughs> we, we don't have fussy eaters, but we do still have a lot of animals to buy for, so that comes out of this. So, um, I mean, the mice, £24.24. I won't have to buy them again for another three months. So, the snakes are the cheapest pets. But things like that, it adds up. And we do have dietary requirements. So three members of the household, me and the two boys, have um, a lot of sensory processing issues. And a lot of that relates to food. So we have limited diet and very strict requirements of that limited diet. <laughs> um, there's certain things we just won't eat. And there's certain things we can only have certain brands and all this sort of thing. It's very... I'm not going to get into it too much because I know that I will get plenty of people telling me I'm being daft or I should um, just buy the genetic version of something or but we can't we've tried like turkey dinosaurs is a good example Ben and Isaac would pretty much have that for every meal and you can't buy the cheap as does own one they know the difference they will tell you the difference. Um, sometimes they'll eat the different one, sometimes they won't. Um, so this also includes like, when Greg goes back to work, it will include batch cooking for him. And he makes us pizza every week from scratch and stuff like that. So yeah, we have spent a lot, but it is what it is. This is how it works for us. If I have to reduce my grocery budget, which I'll be honest, I would like to do. I think I'd need to get more in depth at what we're spending on pets and pet food and what we're spending on groceries. I'm thinking about doing that in May. So this month I've been doing a no spend, a personal no spend, and it's been working really well and I'm quite enjoying it. Um, and I intend on carrying that through into May. I'm thinking I might use May as my analyze my groceries budget so like keep every receipt and really go through it and see what are we buying that we don't need to what are we buying that we could replace with something cheaper work it all out another thing was a long time ago I feel like you're getting an essay now on my food habits a long time ago I would go to Aldi and Tesco's so I would go and do our grocery shop once a week. I'd go to Aldi to get the stuff I could. I'd go to Tesco's to get the stuff I could. And I'd go to Asda to get the stuff. So I'd work out where it was cheaper. And that's great. But then lockdown. And even prior to lockdown. Ben's at home all the time. It's not as easy now with the three kids to do those three different shops. So I'd say I used to do that before my mum had her stroke. Um... So she was here and she had the kids a lot more and so I would be able to just like, I could just go to the, like the nearest Asda for us is at least half an hour, 45 minutes away. So like I could go there, my mum would be here for the kids for school and nursery and stuff. And so yeah, I, I feel like I had more time. I actually do think that our grocery budget has increased because the time I can spend on grocery shopping has decreased. And I think maybe in May, that's what I'd like to try and work on. What can I do to make things cheaper? <laughs> anyway, that was a really long-winded explanation as to why we spent £596. But 
we are going to do another shop. One, two more shops this month. So we actually have 176 for each of those shops. That should be fine. We should be good for groceries. Unbudgeted. Oh, I'm just going to cross off all my groceries. Unbudgeted. We have had nothing. Nothing at all. I'm, I'm really hoping to keep it that way. Nothing at all in unbudgeted. Woo, go me, go me. So um, I'm just gonna run through as well quickly what we spent the sinking funds on. So clothing, I spent 30 pounds and that was actually in Asda. I got Posy some, what did I get her? Some dungarees, some shoes and a swimming costume ready for when the weather's better and we can get the spa out because hers does not fit her anymore. <laughs> On Tuesday, we spent £25 on TV. So that was actually, it comes out of TV, but it's my subscription to the National Autistic Society. Um, I'm not sure why I take it out of TV. I just do, it's always done that way. Beauty, I got my hair done. And when I stuffed my sinking funds, I told you I didn't have enough to get my hair done. Well, I had um, some birthday money left over, so I added that. My, my hair appointment was £80, I think it was, or 85 So I took the 40 that we had in beauty and the rest of it came out of what I had left from my birthday, which I think is all gone now. But that's fine. Then this, this whopper of a £620 out of car. So my car insurance was due for renewal on the 2nd of May, which you get your renewal a month in advance. And they were quoting me £800 from the same company I was with. So I switched companies and got it down to 620 As a side note, I cannot believe how expensive car insurance is now. I remember when I learned to drive and it was like £250 for the year. And that was when I just learned to drive. And now I've been driving for 20 years and it's £620. Um, but never mind. Never mind. So yeah, that is my car insurance which hasn't actually, I've ticked it because it's come out of my sinking funds, but it hasn't actually come out of my bank yet. Maybe I should put a cross when it comes out of my bank instead. So, um, cause I don't actually check in for it. So that is my, oh, I forgot to put, I forgot to put a no spend sticker on the 11th. I didn't spend any money on the 11th. Pretty sure I didn't spend any money today either. But I double check my bank account every night, so we'll see if anything came out, which I don't think it did. So, I'm actually quite happy so far. Fun money is not bad. I so, um, I have two things coming out of my fun money, which is Cult Beauty, which is £17, because I got myself all confused and did the pay in three instalments. So the second instalment of that's coming out, and then I'll have my Stationery Wonderland subscription, and then, so that'll be it. I'll have £50 left. £50? No, I'll have like £25 left. Which, um, so I'm doing a no spend. I will leave a card up here to the video explaining my no spend. My one get out of jail free card is the Some Little Things Anniversary Pre-Order Bundle. I'm kind of hoping that's in May because Lights Planner Action has just released blackout inserts, which actually I could wait and buy those in May. So one or the other. It'll either be some little things or Lights Planner Actions blackout inserts. One or the other will be the remainder of my fun money for this month. And then that'll be it. And I won't spend anything else. <laughs> and that's it. So that's not bad. Kids, they've got loads. Loads. We tell Isaac, like, he's actually picked another Lego set. He'll come and tell me and show me it. And we've told him, you have to wait. You've already spent your pocket money for this month. Which, he hasn't really spent all of it but that's because it's been building up. So we just don't let them have, Ben doesn't buy anything really anyway. <laughs> and Posey, her, what she wanted to buy with her pocket money this month was 12 pounds. So we don't tell them like, Isaac's Lego set was 45 pounds and Posey's doll was 12 pounds. Which actually thinking about that, I think I just left that in the groceries because she got it in Tesco. Never mind. Um, so yeah, that's like, he spent 45 and she spent 12, but we told them both, well, you've spent your birth your fun money. You've spent your pocket money for this month. 
we might change that and do it differently as they get older and give them a set amount but at the moment that works for us eat out like I explained I'll probably be able to make that work petrol I could always use that for eating out but we definitely won't need that kids activities explain that loads I way over explain my groceries to you definitely don't need to explain that again um now I do want to do my saveopoly Woo, don't know why I said it like that. So today is the 12th, it actually is the 12th. So we're gonna roll the dice and we've got two. Last week I had to do two times what was on the dice and it was only six pounds, which is quite good. Um, but we're moving to, oh crap. So <laughs> actually if it's gonna happen, I'd prefer it happens at the beginning of the month. 23 pounds for Saveopoly this month, this week. I am taking out a bus, we're still doing that. So if you've not watched this before, my husband is furloughed, sort of. So he hasn't needed bus money. So um, <clears throat> we are, I'm still allocating a little bit every month and that I using, I'm using that exclusively for Saveopoly. And then when he goes back to work and he needs the money, I mean, we're not really sure what's gonna happen. He's going back part time and we think that he will be able to car share, but we're not sure if he has to go back to buses, that's not gonna be good. <laughs> that's gonna be a pain in the ass because we don't have the money for buses. It's a different, huge, bigger amount and we've got used to not having it. I'll need to rejig my whole budget. Hopefully he'll be car sharing, which is better money-wise and better time-wise. He's home more. So we'll still just need that, hopefully. But we'll have to just wait and see what happens. I really do hope car sharing is an option. I think it will be, to be honest. But um, yeah, I'm exclusively using bus for that. And when he does go back to work, I'll have to start actually taking it out of other places. So this is my back into bank. It's quite stuffed because that's the car insurance money and I haven't paid it in yet. But I just take it out like that because that way, instead of going to the cash machine and taking 20 pounds out and then going and paying this cash in, I've got it here. So, let's just go back. So what was it, 23? So I've got the 20. Then I go to my purse and see what change I've got. If I didn't have any change, I would have taken out five and given myself change from Save Offly. But I know I've got loads. In fact, I'm gonna get rid of some coins. 20, 40, 60, 80. So I've got a pound and 10 pences and two 50 Ps and I'll take a pound coin. God, is that an old, no, I thought that was an old 50p then. Oh my God. So, put all this change back in my purse. So when I used to use cash envelopes, exclusively cash envelopes, I um, used to put my change into a change jar every week. But now I'm not, I just leave it in my purse. Because I don't normally have that much change. This is actually from clearing out under my desk. <laughs> So I've got three in a lot of change and 20. I'm just gonna pop that in there. I'm just gonna count the notes, see how much we've got in notes. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70. So we've got 170 just in the notes. That's quite nice actually. I am thinking about changing the pouch I keep it in. This one, I don't think I like it for notes, but we'll see. <laughs> But that's it. But that's it. So we've done my Saveopoly and I've taken that out. And we have done my weekly check-in. I, where's the thing? I used to track bus, but I don't anymore. So I don't need to put that in. So technically I have spent nothing today because it's from a non-tracked place. <laughs> but yeah, that is my weekly check-in and my Saveopoly done for this week. 
if anybody has any questions please ask them down below or you can find me on Instagram I'll put my Instagram name just here you can also find me in my Facebook group if you request to join please answer all three questions because that's how we weed out the bots um, so if you don't answer all three it just doesn't get approved but that's it thank you so much for listening to me waffle on about my groceries <laughs> and actually waffling on about it is what's made me really think that next month I could deep down analyze my grocery spend in fact I might put a page in just for analyzing my grocery spend so with that being said thank you so much for watching and I will see you all later Bye.